Spencer LeMay with a 25. I've converted a small room into my base, a small room in my basement into a gourmet mushroom farm that can produce 15 pounds a week, profit of five to fifteen dollars per pound. Should I convert my hobby into a business and take over my entire basement? And maybe teach classes about my basement mushrooms? Are we talking psychedelics? Are we talking regular? Is that a, is that a profit of going to jail? Go, Rhode Island For Mushroom Company. Check them out. You, you see Rhode Island Mushroom Company? Google them right there. These guys are fucking making all the money. Uh-huh. Yep. Is this guy talking about psychedelics or what? No, he's talking, I, about, he's talking about portobellos. Really? I yep. think, I mean, the profit would be higher if he was talking psychedelics. Ah. Way higher. Because they know, yeah, making more than that. But look at the mushrooms that these people grow. I mean, these people took it from where he's at to where it could go. Yeah. Um, oh, wow. No shit. Okay. But they, like, look at the things that they have on here. Golden oyster. I mean, these are shit that you don't fucking see anywhere else. Take your mushroom business if you're going to, first of all, if your mushrooms are good, I don't know, I haven't, haven't sampled one. If you want to send one over, me and Sam can fry it up. And we'll have it with a, you know, a nice French omelet. Um, but hit up all the fancy fucking high-end restaurants with your product, and that'll take you right out of fucking it being a hobby into it being real deal. Yeah. You know? That might be niche enough to, like, actually kill it. And it definitely money. is. But that's look at these guys. That thing looks like, like... That's an unbelievable mushroom. You can't even get your hands on those. Mm. But that's good. I mean, but tell them, yeah, that's, know the market. The market isn't selling it to, like, the fucking direct-to-consumer. It's like you walk into every restaurant that's high-end and say, I want to talk to the chef. These are my mushrooms. Give them a free sample. If your shit's bomb, them fucking guys are calling because there's nothing. These fucking chefs want to put that blue oyster on risotto and charge you 45 for it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So God yeah. bless. That's, there's so many, there's like we, these weird little businesses that are like, Crazy. they're hiding. These guys, they go up the street on Blackstone Boulevard. Yeah. Uh, in that fucking Saturday Farmer's Market. Yeah. They sell out of all their, they bring like a Volkswagen van of mushrooms and they fucking sell out every week. God I get damn. a fist fight. Fucking old fucking broads over there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the baby balance today? Get the fuck out of my way, ho. God damn, man. Yeah, keep your ears open, guys. If you, anytime you hear somebody, you hear about somebody making money in a weird way, ask them questions. A lot of them. Like, annoy them with questions. Like, dig, dig in. That's what Nick does. Right. I've heard, I've, I've seen Nick have this conversation with like 20 people. Right. Where he like, you, like, digs in for like 20 minutes. People hears, in a certain niche of some shit, mm -hmm. they want to tell you everything about yeah, it. Yeah, no, yeah, so exactly, that's why, exactly. Right. Like, yeah, ex the, the, the guy that makes this. My taki mushroom, like he was, he's ready to rattle off every Everything. fact. Right. He's telling you me. he puts fucking the seed in vermiculite. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Man, that's well, crazy. Well, you got Jack. 